again, uh, Patience with Makeup here. Today I got my first requested video. Yay! So today I did it. It was a natural look, which was kind of weird because I've only done two looks so far. But I guess they were both pretty dramatic for most. But it doesn't matter because I still love this look and I love doing it and I do it normally when I'm just going to go run errands and stuff and I just want to look like I didn't just roll out of bed and, you know, which I probably did. <laughs> um, this was requested by Sue. Hi, Sue. <laughs> it's just a really minimal, natural look. I have two eyeshadows on, an eyeliner mascara blush and lipstick and that's it and it's really easy so if you want to learn how to do this look keep watching so before i start doing the eyes i've already done my foundation i just did a light tinted moisturizer with a reflective tint in it and i've highlighted around my eyes the first thing we're going to start with is an eye primer this is optional i mean you don't have to do it but i've super oily skin so um, for me it is not optional <laughs> in two hours if I don't wear primer my eyeshadow ends up creasing and just melting off my face I'm going in with a Laura Geller eye and lip spackle and it's two colors I'm gonna go in with the lightest one you just need a little bit <laughs> Alright, next step is we're going to apply our first eyeshadow and I'm using a Ultra Pearl Mania Loose Powder by NYX and it's called Pearl. <laughs> it's a pearl eyeshadow called Pearl. It's a very light pink, baby pink, maybe even lighter than that. And we're going to use this reflective pearly type of color as our first eyeshadow because to me, looking natural is emanating a type of glow or having that uh, little light reflectingness off your face. Light reflectedness. Just take a flat stiff dome brush like this. And apply this to the whole lid. <laughs> And we're going a little bit over our crease just to help open up the lid. It'll give like an optical illusion of a wider, more open eye. And that's what I'm trying to achieve. All right, so next we're going to add some definition to uh, accentuate the eyes even more and create some kind of depth right here in our, right above our crease. We're going to go in with L'Oreal Wear Infinite Studio Secrets in Smooth Latte. And it's just a really matte, natural looking brown. Very toned down. We don't want this to be the focus of the eyeshadow. We just want it to accentuate the eyes and give some depth right here to make them look deeper. So I'm taking a crease brush like this. And this is a little trick. I mean, it takes a little getting used to putting eyeshadow in this place on your face. But once you start doing it, you won't regret it. Because it'll open up any eye with any look. It'll make your eye look instantly wider. So what you're going to do is go right here in the socket and bring it down the bridge of the nose right here. Don't bring it down here, bring it more out. We want to keep this part open. And that's what's going to help make our eyes look bigger. And I chose a matte color because we already have a lot of shimmer. So we don't want to put too much shimmer. It'll wash our face out. It'll reflect too much light. We need some type of shadow. After you bring that in the bridge, you want to continue it out here across the pink but you don't want to close this part off you want to leave that open as well 
just to help even further open the eyes up. So after you do that, take a fluffy, fluffy, take a fluffy brush. You're gonna take that brush and blend it out. Really soft, barely pressing. All right, so after you do the socket with the natural brown, you're gonna take the same brown and we're just going to apply it under our eyes on the lash line. And just sweep it across the eye. But still leave this area open. Don't connect the two browns. Just leave that open. Last step, um, we're going to be applying a brown eyeliner. This one is by CoverGirl Fluid Line. It's just a really chocolatey brown, dark chocolate brown. And we're just going to apply it to the lid by the lash line. Just a small line right here in the corner. Don't make it too thick. We want it to just be nice and thin and subtle. Alright, and then take on the same stick or any smudger you have. I mean, it doesn't have to be this, but this has a smudger at the other side of it. I'm just going to take it and just smudge that out and make it a more seamless line so it's softer, not so sharp. Alright, so if you haven't done it already, go ahead and curl your eyelashes and apply your mascara and the eyes are done. It's that easy. Next, we're going to do blush. So we still want to maintain a natural look. So I'm going in with my Stila One Step Prime Color Pop of Pink. My friend gave this to me. She got it for free at Ulta with her purchase. So I don't pass up free makeup. So you just want to take a little on your hand. And just like that. You just want to take a little bit of it. Just a little bit. And we're going to apply it to our cheekbones. So smile. And just right here. The highest point, just blend it outwards, down and out. Try not to pass this part, this line though. We don't want to go down any further. At least I don't, I mean, not for this look I'm doing. If you want to do that, go ahead. But we just want just a little bit of color where like the sun naturally hits our skin. And just because I have very oily skin, I am personally going to set that with some blush. Just so my oily skin doesn't mess it up. So I'm going in with Frat Boy by The Balm. And this is the color. So I'm just going in with that with a fluffy blush brush, just a little bit. And I'm just going to dab that on that cheek primer I just put on. I know it looks a little dark right now, but don't worry, I'm going to blend it out. So just to help blend that out, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to lightly go over it in circular motions. Still going upwards. Alright, and just to give our cheeks a little bit of a glowy look, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f golden bronzer and I'm gonna go in with this pinkish looking color and just a little bit I'm going to smile and put it right here just a little and I'm gonna bring it up last step is lips so again want to go with a really natural lip you can either wear just chapstick with this look. It's really toned down, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to go for a really nice natural pink color like this. It's called NYX. It's soft matte lip cream. So it's going to have no shimmer or it's not going to be glossy. And it's called Istanbul. So you don't need much. And then just to lighten it up just a bit, I'm going in with my The Balm Auto Balm Tinted Gloss. 
It has a SPF in it and it's called In a Jiffy. In a Jiffy, see? So just a little just to lighten it. That's it. All right, so that concludes our natural look. This is it. Really toned down, natural. Uh, we only use two eyeshadows and one eyeliner and some mascara. Uh, a little bit of blush, a highlighter, and lipstick. And that's pretty much all there is to it. This is the look I wear on a daily basis if I'm just going to be running errands and I just want to be chillaxing for the day and not be too done up. This is my first requested video, so I hope you liked it, and I hope it's easy for you. If you have any questions about what I use or anything at all, please let me know. And as usual, thanks for watching. See ya. Ah. <sighs>